Alex Tirapelli a moment ago at 157 pounds, still in the lead with Minnesota and Michigan in second and third place. Now to 165 pounds, another one versus two seeded matchup. Ryan Chirella, number two of the nation, the number one seed of the Big Tens, taking on Mark Perry, the lone Iowa Hawkeye in the championship round. So, gentlemen, we've had the fans cheering in other mats. It's all going to be focused right now on the center mat with a Hawkeye in the mix. Well, this is the second time this season they met. Chirella winning in Iowa City here before, so tight 7-5 match. Interesting, Trella has his knee wrapped up uh, like his brother. It's almost like maybe their athletic trainer has a little, likes to be conservative and if they get a little sprained knee, takes wraps. He looks like he's moving just fine. Chirella is 30 and 1 on the season. 30 straight wins after a season opening loss to defending NCAA champ Troy Letters of Lehigh. Perry comes in at 23 and 3. And of course, a lot of fans know him as the nephew of John Smith, the head coach at Oklahoma State. Mark grew up at Stillwater. Look at this. Look at this. wanted to know the guy was running out of bounds and he's like he said he just grabbed him picked him up and threw him down but he was like this guy's fleeing the hold you don't worry about fleeing the hold yeah Perry messed up definitely double leg to a bear hug and they just relaxed when Trella started scrambling started running away from him you mentioned the, the, the uncle John Smith now yesterday in the big 12 championships uh, Oklahoma State had a great performance they really turned around they almost doubled the next best team Iowa State score they ran away from the crowd and they, they had a, a, a we talking about true freshman earlier, Coleman Scott, Pennsylvania boy, native, stepped up out of red, stepped up as true freshman and won the Big 12 over Hazel Winkle, the number one ranked guy in the country. That was an exciting Big 12 tournament yesterday. Just to tie up the loose ends with Perry, went to Blair Academy in New Jersey, known for its wrestling program, got away from Stillwater for a little bit, and then decided that Iowa would be the best fit for him. You surprised he came here, Coach? Uh, yeah, I'm surprised, but uh, you know, it, 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 there's, there's a lot of details there. Look at that takedown there. There's one that uh, Perry didn't need to happen here because Torella is a tough rider, just like his dad, just like his brother. He's got the legs in. Yeah, that was interesting. Here's his dad. Torella hit the single leg, and it's Perry, instead of squaring off and squaring his hips, he, he let Torella have the angle. He went to that low whizzer, and boy, Torella hit a great limp arm. And, and that, that's a move that's withstood the test of times, Coach Gable. That, I mean, that's just a cabinet finish, huh? Well, it happened pretty easily. You know, I mean, it was like, I think it caught Perry off guard a little bit. I think he thought he was going to be in a different kind of scramble. And Torella made a wide, wise decision in just going with that limp arm. Excellent limp arm technique. Now you got Lager versus Lager because Torella's good at legs, but so is Perry. And this is the position that Torella's father made famous. Mark Torella, as I mentioned earlier, was the NCAA champ from Michigan, three-timer. Coach Gable, is that correct? I know he beat the Hawks a couple times. Is Trella a three-timer? Look at this, guys. We are doing some action. Look at this. Oh, this is some action. But he actually, Trella did a tremendous job of staying with it and actually hurt Perry. Perry missed some opportunities there, but it's because Trella was hustling. Well, Mark Perry, as we take a peek at Mark Trella, father of Josh, who won a Big Ten title a little while ago at 141 pounds, and also here of Ryan at 165, three-time NCAA champ for Michigan. Mark Perry, really known for his unorthodox style. We saw that displayed right there in that scramble. I mean, he had a position there, but Torella, knowing it as well, boom, came right out of it. Yeah, that was great, and there was short time left in the period, too. That was critical that Torella did not give up the escape, wrestled very well. But uh, Mark Torella, three-time NCAA champ, was great with the legs, the banana splits, the guild team, the crossbody ride to get the arm up. Very few moves withstand the test of time, and the, the Trella leg ride is one of them that has. Well, Torella with two for that early wow. scoring Look at this. effort. Oh, my Perry God. tried to work it again. I tell you, Torella came out of that. Most yeah. people wouldn't come out, and now he's in good position. It's going oh. to look like both guys are fighting here, but Torella looks like he's in a little better position, but Perry's hanging out with both those legs. He's recovered amazingly. Well, if that leg comes out, he's going to be in trouble. Coach Gable, I thought he was done for two, but he really saved himself here. Well, he's got that tight grip there, and he's going to... It's still, it's still wide open yet. He's got a tight stalemate. head arm, Wow. Earned a stalemate. Oh, we got a great one here. Uh, Papa Chirella looking on and oh, knowing his son really extricated himself from a dangerous spot there. Still a 2-0 lead for the Michigan wrestler over Mark Perry of Iowa. Chirella did a great job of coming out of that pullback, I'm telling you. He had a deep half. He had him right where he wanted him, and he didn't get it. Yeah, that's a 
great maneuver. You know, oh, nice. Look at that. Here's where he beat him last time. Here's where he beat him last time. That's and he, Can he get back yeah. points? Uh, he's had one point so far, and he's getting him. Did he give him? Did he give him two counts? I count? think so. Yeah, he's giving. He's going to give him a two. He's giving. This is him where two. he beat him last time. Same exact five point. This time he's got four right now. Wow. Perry's flexible, amazing. But he may be flexible, but Chirala put him down. Got the reversal. Got Trella, two reversal and two back points. Here's another peek at that last wow. sequence. That was great. This, this is what they, Coach McFarlane, that was great scramble. I, I think the call was a good one. The, the Hawkeye crowd doesn't like it, obviously. They don't well, why would they? They put it up backwards in the board at first. Ah. That's why the, the crowd is reacting like that. They had the score tied at two. Now they have corrected it, taken it off the board having it read 4 nothing, and I think Joe McFarland now is over there looking for those two back points that he talked about. He well, gave he didn't give him? He, the referee definitely gave me. Well, he, 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 no, you know, I think he was pointing to who's in control. I think that was the question yeah. of who was he, getting those two but points he, in that but he situation. Could, you know, he, I didn't see him count. Okay, I didn't either. But, but you know what? He was a little bit in danger there. He, I mean, he I had to. It, it could have it been too, but it certainly puts Perry back if he's able to maneuver here. Yeah, Chirella, though, takes that 4 nothing lead here, final 40 seconds of the second period, so. And here's that freshman thing, you know, Perry has dominated through his high school career at Blair, and now is a redshirt freshman. Right, Iowa. time's a factor now. But he, he struggles on bottom. Him and Surtsey's both really struggle on bottom against the top riders. And you see the expressions of both wrestlers there. Perry on bottom, Chirella of Michigan on top, trying to ride out his man here for the rest of the second period. Whoa, he got another scramble. He might get it. He's got to kick out. He's got to kick away. I didn't, oh, there he is. He, did yeah, he got it. That was big time. Big. Oh, seven seconds left in the period, guys. Two, four to one in favor of Chirella right now with riding time. Minute 23 riding time advantage. There's not a dull moment in this match. No, this is big. Here they are again, guys. Look at scramble. Look at that scramble. He ducked back front rolls underneath there. Now watch how he kicks out, lifts his leg out. That's what happened right after that cut there. Coming down third period here. This is going to be an exciting culmination. Perry's got the choice. He wanted to pick neutral, and he does. Zaleski says, okay, go get him. Well, Mark Chirella saw one of his sons win a Big Ten title, looking for his other son to repeat as a Big Ten champ. Ryan Chirella won it last year at 149 pounds, now up at 165 with a 4-1 lead on Mark Perry in the oh, third, but here the comes the Hawkeye. The power duck, he's great at that maneuver. Well, he's got to come up in a hurry. Yeah, he's got to finish. He should got, Yeah, he, he hesitated, and, and now you give Chirella a chance to get a stalemate, but he's still okay if he picks it up. He's got to keep the knee, though. He's got to come up in the air. I don't know he's why. got it, coach. He's got it. He's got the knee. He's got oh, the he's close. Gonna be two. He's close. The crowd wants he's it. Close. Oh, the Hawkeye they, faithful wants the two, yeah, and he, he gets the it. two. They gave it. I don't know. He uh -huh. gave, he's still got it there, though. The yeah. Get the, the, two. Crowd, the crowd influenced him, but it was there. It was there. Well, that's what the crowd's supposed to do. The official giving the two. Mark Perry cuts into the margin. Now a 4-3 bounce. 165 pounds. All right, now it's, there's a minute 20 riding time in favor of Trello. So Perry's got to try to ride him for at least 20, and he is very tough on top. If Perry can, you know Trello's going to come out hard, but if Perry can keep him down those first 20 seconds, that, that's going to be promising because once he's, the hardest part is the first 10 or 20 seconds to hold him down. And then you can look for Perry to go nasty on top because he's great with cradles and legs. Coach Gable, you've seen him wrestle a lot this season. See Mark Perry there taking a couple glances at the clock, and while they're in injury time for a moment, we'll take a peek at the third place match here at 165. Matt Nagel of Minnesota looking for team points for the Gophers, taking on Jake Donar of Wisconsin. Extra team points. Yeah, it certainly is. Points like this. He's looking for. He's got a major decision wrapped up. That, that closes the deal. Now he's got to start looking for the fall because Minnesota is right on Illinois' tail in the team race. It's going to be a come down to home stretch here. Certainly in a comfortable position. Matt Nagel up 10-0 with riding time, in fact. So trying to hold on to that major decision and get closer towards a tech fall. But we've got the final few seconds of the championship bout here at 165 as those guys progress in third place. Looking like Nagel will hang on to that major decision with back on the main mat. He let him go. He didn't decide to race that, 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 that riding time. Bad strategy. I think that's bad strategy, huh? I guess he's got to take him down later to win, though. Yeah, but I think you needed to do a little bit here just to uh, tire him out and just show that, you know, that you're a 
authoritative. Sure, I agree. Chirella up 5-3 in this bout with riding time. So Perry has much work to do. Oh, he's bad shot. It, well, it was a bad shot, but he didn't react his leg. He should have been around him. He's looking for a cradle here. He's, you know, he's looking for a cradle. Perry said if he gets here, he thinks he can win it. He thinks he can win it if he gets here, but he, right now, it depends on Chirella. Chirella is going to have to, for the time, still 50 seconds. They're not going to give it when it's over that shoulder yet. Chirella turns into him. He's going to get cradled, but he didn't. He went from the standpoint. Smart wrestling by Chirella. Yep, he kept his position nicely. He didn't fall for that near side cradle. Jim Zaleski there shouting out instructions to Mark Perry, trying to rack up what would be the only team or individual championship for the Hawkeyes in this 2005 Big Ten Championships. Perry definitely missed a goal behind when off Torella's shot, but because he's, he, he tries other types of moves. I don't know if there's any good any warnings here, but they're definitely going to get one. There oh, nice. is. He's got to get his right arm to the far knee. He's got to get it in about what, four seconds. Oh, and he's, I don't know if he's going to get it or not. Oh, it's close, but he's going to get right in time. He's still going to oh. have to go for the ball. He's going to have to go. Well, Torella did a great job of turning. He's going to still have right in time. Unless he can get back points. There's still no points. The crowd is going to go crazy. They gave it to him. But he's going to win on right in time. The he's going to win on right in time. Torella, can he ride it out? And it looks like he can. Perry looking at the clock and realizes that it's all over. Ryan Chirella. No, he doesn't realize, but it is. Has impressive. silenced the he crowd. He's still wrestling, but he's Mark not, Perry not. misread the clock, didn't realize that riding time was up on the board. Ryan Chirella realized it and hangs on and make it two Chirellas as Big Ten champions. Ryan follows his brother Josh, winning Big Ten gold for Michigan.